The situation in Ukraine worsens by the day. Not only have atrocities been committed on both sides of this war, the persecution of the canonical Orthodox Church under Metropolitan Anufri in Ukraine worsens every day. In response to the dire situation before us, His Grace Bishop Irenae of London and Western Europe has put out a letter to the faithful. His Grace explains the following. Ukrainian Orthodox Christians strive for nothing but to worship God in peace and care for all the people of their homeland with open hearts and a simple, powerful faith. Yet in response to their apolitical love, they are receiving the most vicious attacks. Attempts to set up a new Ukrainian false church under the influence of a patriarchate in Turkey and flagrantly political in orientation is deceptive and a wound to Christ and his flock. And now, as many of you will have already heard, the peace-loving monks of the Domitian Lavra in Kiev are being threatened with eviction. Having already been evicted from one part of the monastery just before the Nativity of Christ, the monks are now being threatened with complete expulsion from the monastery. By the end of the month, the incorrupt relics of the saints that are kept in the monastery, most of whom laboured and spiritually toiled in the lands of Ukraine, are being referred to by government officers as museum expositions. Schismatic, false Orthodox individuals are being brought in to desecrate holy altars. They're being brought in to perform non-Orthodox rites in mockery of the church. Priests are being evicted from nearby parish churches. Peace-loving leaders of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church are being groundlessly illegally sanctioned. Hierarchs are being intimidated with deprivation of citizenship and deportation. Seminarians with eviction from their schools and academies. And the faithful are being stripped away of their canonical Orthodox life. Such vile and demonic attacks on the Orthodox Church have not been seen since the USSR. Due to the severity of the situation, His Grace has left the children of his diocese with a plea. I present this plea to you, and I plead with you. Pray for the monks of Kiev Lavra. Pray for Orthodox Christians in Ukraine, and share this with your priests and bishops. And may God bless us all. His grace says, and I quote, To all pious Orthodox Christians, above all, I exhort you to pray. Pray to our almighty God that he will work a miracle amongst his pious flock in Ukraine. Pray that he will strengthen Metropolitan Anufri and all the leaders of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. Pray that he will comfort the suffering faithful. Pray that he will feel the support of our love and the openness of our hearts to be united to them in their suffering. And to the faithful children of this diocese, I instruct that every parish is to serve a Malevin with the Akathist hymn to the Mother of God, to whose Domitian the key of lava is dedicated, every week with immediate effect, lifting up at the end the prayer of the, for the end of civil strife in the Ukrainian lands. To those faithful who cannot make it to church for the service should pray it in their homes, in front of their holy icons, with their family and children gathered around them. Those who can do so every day should make this sacrifice. And on Wednesday the 20th Mar 29th of March, the day on which the Ukrainian state has said it will enforce its eviction of the monks from the Lavra, and on which the church especially repents through the recitation of the canon of St. Andrew of Crete, every parish is to serve a malevin to all saints of the Kiev of Kiev's Lavra with the prayer offered on bended knee, and every faithful Christian should be encouraged to fast strictly for the entire day. By prayer and fasting, the good intentions of the pious shall be heard by our loving God. End quote. Please hear the pleas of Bishop Irenae and pray 
for the Kiev Lavra, praying for Metropolitan Anufri, praying for all Orthodox Christians in Ukraine. I beg you, if you go to my telegram, t.me forward slash British Orthodox, I will post both the readers, Maleben, which can be served by all Orthodox laity, and the priestly Maleben. Please send this to your priests and encourage them to pray for those in Ukraine. God bless you all.